What's up everybody, Silent Doom here to guide you through Charizard. This guide was made entirely by Frenzy, who has also made guides for Marth and Corrin. Make sure to check those out too, and enjoy the video. Pros and cons. Charizard's pros include his heavy weight, his ground speed, and his skid, allowing him to come to a halt from running faster than most. Charizard's weight makes him live a lot longer than most characters, his fast ground movement allows him to dart quickly around the stage, and his extra mid-air jump improves his recovery and ability to land. Charizard's cons include his size, his initial dash speed, his traction and his rolls. His large size makes him a bigger target for other characters, and his initial ball dash speed doesn't do his fox trots or perfect pivots any favours. Charizard also has decided to oil his feet in this game, giving him the second lowest traction in the game making it harder for Charizard to punish attacks that hit his shield. His rolls are also slower than most and don't cover a lot of distance, making it difficult for him to get out of pressure situations. Jab and Tilts Charizard's jab is easily one of the best jabs in the game. It comes out on frame 4, and it's his usual option after dropping his shield. It deals 12% damage and has great range. Charizard's jab is the centerpiece of how the character plays overall. Charizard's forward tilt is a mixed bag. On one hand, its lateral range is fantastic, it can be angled and it has great kill power. On the other hand, its end lag prevents it from being a zoning tool that one would like it to be, and it's only safe at max spacing. The base damage of this move is 11% on the flame and 7% on the tail. Up tilt is a really solid anti-air option. It does 8% and it's the only grounded move Charizard has he can do while sliding. Up tilt also has low enough base knockback and low enough cooldown such that at very low percents it can combo into itself or up smash, but it also has high enough knockback growth such that it can kill at high percents. Charizard's down tilt deals 10% and it's his primary ground spacing option that has good range, good base knockback and safety on shield. The move itself lacks the disjoint of Donkey Kong and Bowser down tilts, so it's not quite as good as it could be. Dash attack is a deceptively decent move. It is Charizard's primary zone breaking and approach option. It's true that while it isn't the best dash attack in the world, it does have decent active frames, decent startup, disjoint and high base knockback alongside a pretty good angle allowing him to effectively establish stage control. This move is best used when your opponent whiffs at mid range. Smash attacks. Charizard's forward smash has some positives and some negatives. It can kill incredibly early has great reach, and has invincibility during its active frames, allowing it to brute force through other attacks. The catch is that this move is a little less rewarding for its speed, and that it has a sour spot at max range, which means you're rewarded less for good spacing. In contrast to his awful forward smash, Charizard's up smash is fantastic, and would be up there as one of the best in the game if not for its occasional unreliability. It can kill at around 110%, serves as one of Charizard's best out of shield options, and is a fantastic anti-air. The back hit can even set up for jab blocks. The move is relatively unsafe, but that's a fair trade-off for all the strengths that the move has. Charizard's down smash does 16% and is a great middle ground smash attack. This move has incredible horizontal range, disjoint, and a surprising amount of vertical range with good damage and knockback for its speed. The move hits both sides of Charizard, so it's a strong option against unsafe landings and rolls. Aerial Attacks Charizard's Neutral Air does 12% on the flame and 9% on the tail, and is an incredibly essential part of Charizard's moveset, but unfortunately it's not quite as good as it could be. The move itself covers a wide arc, deals decent damage and serves as Charizard's central combo starting normal. The primary saving grace for this move is its early auto-cancel window. The auto-cancel window is only a few frames after the hitbox's end, allowing it to auto-cancel on short hop and apply pressure. Charizard's forward air overall is a very strong aerial, coming out at a respectable frame 8 and being strong enough to start killing at around 85% of the ledge. This move is also Charizard's go-to combo finisher. You can also auto-cancel it on short hop, and it's pretty safe when done retreating. If you follow me on Twitter, you'll know how often I sing praises of this move, because honestly, this move is what, in my opinion, allows the character to stand a chance at high level. This move's destructive power absolutely cannot be slept on. To top it all off, the move, unlike similar strength back airs, is safe on block at max range, due to its immense range and high shield pushback. 
Up air is similar to neutral air in that its hitboxes come out a little late. The head does have intangibility and high power, so we can brute force through aggressive landings. Down air does 14% and is a pretty standard, fairly strong meteor with a good hitbox, used typically for edge guarding with limited on stage utility, due to its severe landing lag and mediocre auto cancel window. But beyond that, there isn't too much to say about this move. Throws Down throw does 6% and is his primary combo throw that's able to secure follow ups until mid and mid to late percents, depending on full speed. The move that covers the most is forward air. Neutral air can also be used at lower percents for less damage but superior positioning and regrab potential, while up air covers the DI in. Up smash can also be used at very low percents versus fast fallers and larger characters for the most damage off of down throw. Forward throw does 10% and is primarily a positioning throw, one that should be opted for near the ledge or when your opponent is out of percent ranges for down throw to combo. However, due to its high end lag, it has no combo potential. Back throw does 10% and is the backward version of forward throw with a slightly different angle with the same knockback values. The catch with this throw is that unlike forward throw, its end lag is exceptionally low, allowing for Charizard to combo out of it at low percents into forward air. Up throw does 11% damage. It's a kill throw that at first seems like one of the strongest in the game, but was born with a curse of an awful angle. Up throw is disgusting on Duck Hunt, and when used the opponent must always DI down and away from Charizard, whereas he'll soon figure out that his stock is gone. Special Moves Flamethrower I would rank overall as Charizard's best and most important special. Alongside Jab, it stands as one of his central moves in his kit, and is best used at mid-range as a zoning tool as well as an absurdly good edge guarding tool. At the ledge, it's crazy how many recoveries in the game fall victim to Charizard just holding B. Certain characters ideally require you to be at different distances from the ledge for this to truly be effective, but once you've controlled where you ideally want your opponent to be placed after landing a flamethrower, you can go for the forward tilt, down smash or down air to complete the edge guard and secure the stock. Going from his best to his worst, Flare Blitz is a bit of a mess of a move. It's very strong and travels a great distance, allowing it to be a good option to cover tech chases and serves as a good recovery tool, despite the fact that he receives 5% recoil from simply activating the move. However, it has a problem being that the recoil compared to the damage you deal a net of 9% upon successfully landing the move, which is rather pathetic if the move doesn't kill. This is for a move that versus certain characters can get you killed at around 60% if they shield it, because it's absurdly unsafe on block, and can lead to Charizard getting jab locked. Fly does a maximum of 17% and is Charizard's primary recovery move. It's not particularly exceptional as a recovery move due to his relatively poor height, and once he reaches the top of it, he becomes incredibly vulnerable. It's a move that's most destructive when you've conditioned your opponent not to expect it. Since the hitboxes are in front of Charizard rather than on him, the move can be a little unreliable at times. Rock Smash has a couple of primary uses. The first is for holding advantage state if you read that your opponent is going to try to offensively or defensively retaliate. The super Rock Smash is also a landing option for Charizard. Bread and Butter Combos Matchups Charizard's better matchups versus good characters are against Mario, Peach and Ness due to Charizard's ground mobility and ability to wall them out. His worst matchups include Zero Suit Samus, Diddy Kong and Sonic due to his neutral tools being shut down and him not being able to capitalise on their weaknesses all too well. Players to watch Some notable Charizard players are Hitomoshi or Toshi, Sharpie and Surge. These are the three main Charizard players that are all good to watch if you want to learn how to play Charizard at a tournament level. Anti also has a very solid secondary Charizard as well. After every guide, Frenzy places the character he has covered in a tier list. 
This way you know why a character is placed where he is, because you just learned a lot about the character. On top of that, you may change the character's placings in the tier list if it's needed. So we're going to continue this list with Charizard. Thank you all for watching. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to drop a like or comment with character suggestions for future guides, as well as subscribe and hit that bell to be the first in the know when new content is dropped. Also make sure to follow Frenzy on Twitter at LightFrenzy, and if you like the wonderful sound of my voice, feel free to check me out on Twitter, Twitch and YouTube at Silent Doom, as well as on the mic at various Smash events around the world. This has been Silent Doom. Peace.